Hey, what's up, horror fans, horror freaks, geeks, nerds, dweebs, turds, basement dwellers, and of course, all you mouth breathers out there, welcome to my location video for Camp Crystal Lake 2023. Me and my buddy Nick Utam from the World Class Bullshitters got together. He came up from Atlanta, and uh, we decided to do this Camp Crystal Lake tour in New Jersey. Right off of Blairstown, New Jersey, at Camp Noby Bosco, North Bergen Boy Scouts, New Jersey. So, just want to. This is earlier on in the day. We were hanging out in Blairstown, doing a little sightseeing, and this is right where Annie walks across the bridge. And um, we were just checking that out. Beautiful day, great weather. And right here, that building used to be red, but this is where Annie walked down, beginning of the movie. The very first victim, Friday the 13th. And of course, this beautiful structure here has the archways everybody knows from Friday the 13th. And we got a little footage of that too. And we walked through, of course, had a good time there. And this is the outside of the diner that Annie goes inside and asks for a ride to Camp Crystal Lake. Is the outside we couldn't go in but we stood outside and took some footage of the outside buildings you can see the corner of this this one building just wait one second here right there that building the orange brick you can see the corner of that building from inside the the cafe that's how we know that's the actual building itself over there is where crazy ralph Gets on his bikes and you're it's got a death curse, you're all doomed. And and bikes away, of course, has been painted over the years, but you get to see Nick standing on the corner there. And um, then we went over to the Blairstown Diner to get some lunch, which was delicious. And um, of course, this diner is featured in the movie, and then we ran over to the graveyard, the Moravian graveyard from the movie. Pretty much the same. It's grown a little bit, obviously, but um, it's a cool place to get a photo op. The metal gate is the same. And um, then we decided to head on over to the actual event. We had to wait in line for about 20 minutes or so. Once we got in, we wanted to take some video of the drive through the woods that you get from the movie as well. And, um, you know, we were just excited. So we were taking a little footage here. And um, chit-chatting, bullshitting, what have you. We're driving up to the Camp Nobi Bosco Gate, which you see here, which I thought was pretty epic. I love this old school camp style stuff. And uh, I had to get a, a picture in front of the North Bergen Boy Scouts, Boy Scouts sign. And then we were parked the car we got our tickets. We were trekking in with the other Friday the 13th fans. And there were quite a few. And that was a, a nice experience. Uh, we probably walked maybe a quarter mile. It's not that far. It's really it's really small. Uh, the camp is actually pretty small itself. Um, so it didn't take too long to, to trek in. And there's our big epic sign. No North Bergen Boy Scouts of America. And then this is right inside the gate there. Some of the um, administration cabins and whatnot. Now, some of the scenes from the movie were actually filmed in that cabin right there. Um, I can't remember exactly which ones they told me. But I'm pretty sure there was some stuff filmed in there. And then this great um, large-scale map of Camp Crystal Lake was pretty cool. So I got a picture of that. And then down here, this is another cabin, but it's got the bathrooms, which were actually really nice, surprisingly. And the gift shop, which had a ton of merch to buy. Expensive, but unique. Um, and then this photo op over here, the Camp Crystal Lake sign. Uh, you had Pamela Voorhees' Jeep, and then Crazy Ralph's bike. And there's a Crazy Ralph cosplayer. He looked great. He looked just like him. 
Um, and of course the old pickup truck as well. If you want to get pictures in front of them, you were free to do so. And if you want to sing Kumbaya, there was a guitar there. Everybody was really friendly. All the fans were obviously out just to have a great time. And, um, you know, we were just soaking it all in. There's the original group, of course. I would love to drive that Jeep. That would be so much fun. Unfortunately, that wasn't an option. But I'm assuming that this area might have been where the... Uh, archery was but because we didn't see an archery in there I thought this was funny I had to take a picture of it framed log slice $125 I guess those were apparently one inch thick like cut up slices of actual cabin um, over here we've got the camper lodge was cool we had our lunch in there we had so they provided sandwiches a side which is like a potato salad or something and then or it was pasta salad and then a drink and then we could watch the movie and then we walked into the, the camp here and there's Nick walking into the mechanics lodge now the way that uh, nobody go Bosco does it is they set up celebrities in each cabin so you know you could go to each cabin and wait in line and then get picture signed or whatever you want to get signed this is obviously the beach, um, which looks kind of gloomy, but it was it was really cool to see it in person. Like it was, it was smaller than I thought it would be. I honestly I thought it was like pretty small. Um, if you compare it to like Sleepaway Camp Lake, it's very very small. It's like maybe a third of the size of the Sleepaway Camp's lake, but um, it's very iconic. Of course, you can just obviously just glancing around the lake point out all the high points of the movie and whatnot but this is the um the high tower on the beach uh lifeguard tower which just changed a little bit it was white in the original movie now they put this facade around it and they painted it brown but still the same one And that lodge right there was Harry Manfredini. And I was that was the first place we stopped off. I was super excited. I wanted to get some stuff signed. And I bought a Friday the 13th Part 3 soundtrack, which he signed for me, which was amazing. Uh, and I asked him a couple questions about, you know, basically I asked him about um, Sail Away, Tiny Sparrow. Because I just thought that song is so cutesy but haunting at the same time. And... He told me it was just they just needed a, like a Dolly Parton ripoff because that was the song playing on the radio in the cafe, which when Annie goes in to get a ride, and then they were like, "Oh, well, let's just make a, a copy of that," and that's what they came up with. So, away Tiny Sparrow. Now, I like his version of that. I mean, it's not the same version. It's not the same song. It's different, but I liked what he came up with. And then, of course, they come up with a, a melody of that at the end of the movie. There's me and Harry together. And then this is outside, right outside, down on the beach. They were doing, um, there's Amy Steele and, God, so many, so many people from part one, part two there, um, went down to do photo shoot, doing with shot, shots with the fans, was really cool. And then they did this little thing up by the main lodge around the campfire where they were just bullshitting around and they have a little stuffed, um, what's, what's his name? Muffin over there and it was just really cool it was just strange and then uh this is the main cabin where they were playing trip monopoly and stuff and this is where alice um uh, uh adrian mendo uh, adrian um king was and we got some stuff signed i got poster signed nick got some stuff signed it was really cool she was very friendly I uh, decided to walk around to the other side of the lake to get a picture, and then this is the lodge where the showers were, where uh, Marcy met her demise, and um, they built the showers in this space. Now, there might have been showers here back in the day, I don't, I'm not really sure, but they had a lot of the um, celebs down here signing, you know, 8x10s and, you know, memorabilia and stuff, and then we walked our way out, I got a picture with the sign, had to do it, of course. And um, 
then that's it basically that was our whole day it was just kind of like we weren't planning to make a video so we just kind of shot stuff willy-nilly you know off the hip and nick and i were just trying to enjoy ourselves and you know get to know each other a little bit have some fun and we really did have a good time it was a great day uh went by really quick um and i would highly recommend doing a crystal lake tour it's crystallaketours.com or something they do a tour and they also do these reunion things once a year and that's what we did i think it was like 180 dollars or something per person and they basically just let you in there you can run around um but i would highly recommend it check it out and of course subscribe to the channel guys um and as always, stay awesome, stay R-rated. Cheers.